everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today's video, as I'm sure you can tell from behind me, is going to be a garage organization. And I'm actually staying with my parents right now, so I'm in their garage, and I'm gonna help them get organized by organizing some of the bins that they have, some cabinets. We're also going to install some lifts to raise the bikes off the ground, put those up by the ceiling, another lift system where we're gonna make a whole bunch of extra storage space up high. So if you guys are excited, then let's jump right into the video. The first spot we're starting today is this cabinet that's right next to the door when you walk into the house. And right now it's kind of split between stuff that my mom uses and stuff that my dad uses. So we're gonna try and put the stuff that my dad uses at the very top and relocate the rest and save the additional space for my mom. So I'm gonna start by pulling everything out of those bottom two cabinets and rearranging it. Of course, once you get everything out, this is a perfect time to clean that space. And you can see actually how gross this bottom cabinet was. I had to get a little scraping tool. I have no idea what was back there, but we had tons of cleaning products. So something most likely leaked. I'm actually moving the paper products down. So I'm gonna put all of their paper towels, their toilet paper, their Kleenex and that type of stuff on the bottom shelf and they do have a fair amount of it but of course with the pandemic and how things have been going they do like to have a little bit of extra stuff on hand and i definitely don't blame them for that The next shelf up, I'm gonna do all of their backup supplies. So they do have a lot of extra Ziplocs and tin foil and that type of stuff. So I'm gonna keep that right where it was, just kind of reorganize it a little bit and then go through their cleaning products and organize those on this shelf as well. So I skipped ahead a little bit so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. This was a long video, I will tell you, and I did my best to cut it down and get it under 30 minutes for you guys. So hopefully you enjoy all of the content and all of the different spaces in the garage, but I am gonna skip ahead through some of the projects so you don't have to watch the entire thing. Now these next two shelves are shelves that my dad uses, and I'm sure he's gonna watch this video, but they were pretty messy. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm pulling everything out and then we're going to rearrange. I'm gonna try and see if I can get him to declutter a few items and free up that shelf that's second from the top for more stuff for my mom. He had tons of different tapes. So when you're going through a space like this, that's super overwhelming. It really helps to categorize things first. So I quickly identified the fact that he had all of these different types of tape. So I latched onto that and decided to go for organizing those first. This part was really tough for me to go through because there are tons of different glues that he had and lubricants, WD-40, all of that type of stuff. And I'm 
not super familiar with all of it. So I was making sure all of it was good. Nothing was super expired. And you'll see I'm kind of holding up some of these bottles and my dad was over there. So I was asking him questions, you know, do you really need this? It looks similar to the other product that I saw. One looks like it's older and one looks like it's newer. Can we get rid of one? And he got rid of a few things, but he's quite handy. He does a lot of projects around the house. So he insists he uses all of the ones that we kept and that's really all that matters. If you're using them and you're somebody who's super handy around the house and you have a lot of those things in the garage, that's perfectly fine. But if you have all of these things and you tend to hire out for projects and you don't use any of it, then you should probably declutter those items. I think these two cabinets were a really great example of how you can sometimes forget what you have if you don't go through your spaces regularly. And that's something that I feel like is really tough when you have a larger space. It's just hard to remember to go through and pull everything out. But if you organize in a way that you can visually see what you have, it's not as difficult and you're less likely to forget the things that you have because when you go to open that cabinet or that drawer, you can see what you own. So how could you really forget what's in there? You tend to forget what things you own when things are shoved in and stacked behind something else and you can't actually see it. I was also super happy that my dad approved getting rid of a bunch of extra packaging. So that just kind of cut down on space. You'll see I'm not adding any extra bins or baskets or organizers in here. It would be nice to have maybe a shelf riser or a couple of baskets to organize these things. And I think that's something we discussed after I finished up, but you'll see there's still a huge difference even without buying products. So don't let the fact that you maybe have a budget ever hold you back from organizing. So, like, you can do better, so much better. Here we go, we have another example of what happens when you don't know what you own. Look at these coveralls. Who knows how long they've been in there? They are completely deteriorated, so those need to go in the trash. But I was cracking up with my brother and then my dad walked out and I just had to show him what his coveralls looked like. Hey, the coveralls, I was like, why were they like, why is there dust coming out of them? <laughs> Is she embarrassed? What happens in the desert? And you can see me trying to convince my dad to get rid of duplicates. He had two of the same product. I told him to pick his favorite. He only got to keep one. And since my brother was also staying with my parents and he likes to do projects around his house as well, some of the stuff that we ended up decluttering out of my parents' garage, my brother ended up inheriting. So I think he was happy about that. So while I was organizing this cabinet, I had my brother, my husband, and my dad working on installing some lifts in the garage. Now these lifts are to raise the bikes off of the ground. You'll see it's a tight garage with all of the stuff they have in there. And with the area they live, we really like having bikes there. It's nice to ride them to the gym or to ride around the neighborhood. So my dad found this really cool bike lift, which I'll show you how it looks in a little bit. With the extra freed up shelf, I decided to use that for some of my mom's extra food and kind of more kitchen related items. So I had the extra solo cups, plastic cutlery, I put the napkins there and that's about it.
I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies But you ain't gazing So as a reminder, here is the before and then here is the after. And again, you'll see what a difference organizing can make and a little bit of decluttering even without organizing products. So, let your guard down. And I said, so at this point, the boys were finalizing the bike lifts. So they tried raising it up for the first time and they used my husband, who's the tallest out of all of them, to try and see if the bike lifts went up high enough. So he walked under to see if his head would hit it and they decided they wanted to adjust it and try and raise it a little bit more. The next project that we have is to do the cabinet on the other side of the door. And my dad went out and bought some extra wood sheets that we are going to build some extra shelves. And this is just an example of how handy my dad is. So I was tasked with measuring everything and then my dad and I were gonna work together to cut them down to fit the cabinet perfectly. I actually find it quite fun whenever I go to my parents' house to work through different areas with them and help them organize. It's kind of a fun way to bond with them. A lot of times it ends up being my mom working in her bathroom or the kitchen. So this was just different and fun for me to work with my dad and my brother and get my husband involved. And I'm glad they all consented to be a part of this video because organizing a garage can be really tough and especially using power tools like this cutting shelves that's not something that i usually do on my own so it was nice to have all of the guys help me out and make this garage transformation possible So this cabinet, I was told not to touch too much. My parents actually do have somebody that comes to help clean the house every now and then. And these are her cleaning supplies. So she just leaves them at the house. And I just kind of refolded things, but tried not to do too much because I didn't want to disturb the way that she had everything and the way that she was organizing it. So you'll see I'm gonna keep adding some extra shelves and then I kind of got tired and so I finished it up a little bit later but I'm just gonna show you again what the before looked like and then what the after looked like after everything. Monday came and swept away All the fun of yesterdays But I'm gonna hold it together This ain't forever Need a shot and then a beat Somewhere to let up some steam I'm not the one to say never Never say never Been playing it down But I'm so getting tired Now won't you meet high Cause I've been feeling Feeling that crazy And I need to lose control So baby put the record on
So here's the before shot and then here's that after shot. So that was actually all we could fit into day one. It is now day two of garage organization. And we got a lot of stuff done in between day one and day two. We did decide to go out and purchase some products to help us organize a little bit better. We were gonna try and avoid that. But I also made some custom labels using my Cricut machine and we're going to apply those throughout the garage. We installed, and I shouldn't say we, my dad, my brother, and my husband installed a garage lift. So we're going to fill up some bins on those lifts and raise that up to the ceiling to take advantage of all of the space. And then there's that whole wall with the metal shelves that I haven't touched yet. And that is going to be a major transformation, I'm sure of it. So let's jump right into day two. This little section I didn't do a ton of rearranging honestly the garage project was so big and I left part of my dad's area for him just to figure out on his own I'm not a ton of help when it comes to a lot of his tools so this area I just kind of cleaned up a little bit and then worked to apply some custom labels so it looks a lot nicer and then he knows where all of his things are So I think this was one of the coolest parts of the garage transformation. We got these bins from Costco to put on the lift that I mentioned just a moment ago. And the lift is actually from oxlift.com. I will link them in the description box below. But these lifts are so cool. They're so strong. They have a bunch of different sizes of lifts. They have different finishes. You can get a white or a silver. They have lifts that hold up to 400 pounds, some that hold all the way up to 600 pounds. And I actually have a coupon code for you guys. So if you use the code OXLIFT100, it's gonna take $100 off your purchase. And these things are awesome. So I'm gonna show you after I finish loading them up, how easy it is to raise them and lower them and how much better the garage looks that we were able to get some of that stuff that was sitting on the ground up on the ceiling and in a spot where it's nice and neat and that storage is out of the way it made such a difference so if you have a garage that you just feel like you don't have enough storage space this is an awesome solution my dad my brother and my husband installed it themselves it didn't seem like it was too difficult so you can easily install it yourself if you have somebody who's a little handy or you can have somebody help install it for you but these things are pretty great So they did install two of these garage lifts and the way that we separated it was one that was stuff that my mom would most likely use and one that was stuff that my dad was most likely gonna use. And the first one we did was stuff for my mom. So it had a lot of decorations for different holidays, some stuff that she would use for parties and then some backup toilet paper again with the pandemic. It's nice to have some of that on hand. So she had a couple of Halloween baskets and decorations and things like that. You had the but when you walked out the door You drive me crazy I want you to stay
As always, if you're interested in custom labels, I do have them available on my website. If there's something in particular you want that you don't see on my website, always feel free to message me here on YouTube, leave a comment in this video or any other video, or you can email me at sophisticatedorganization at gmail.com and hopefully I can help you out. So I think those pins look pretty nice and neat with those labels on and we put them lower so you can see them when everything's raised up to the ceiling and look how easy that is to raise them up and lower them down with the push of a button. So this one is going to be my dad's lift and I'm loading up all of the different bins and going to organize those. My dad had a couple of larger items, so I had to have him help me put those on. They do have a pool here, so there were some extra pool supplies. And then we also had some of those smaller Costco bins, which are great. And I know I mentioned before that these bins are from Costco, but they are really nice. They're super sturdy, perfect for a garage. So if you're looking for affordable bins for your garage or storage room and you have a Costco membership, these ones are great. And up goes the second lift. It's seriously so easy. I'm showing you how much weight it can hold. My dad was in control of the remote and I realized he was going up pretty high and I felt like Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. If you guys have seen that movie and you're familiar with the scene where they drink like the fizzy bubble drink or whatever it is and they're floating up to the ceiling and they keep getting higher and higher and they're scared they're gonna hit the ceiling. That's what I felt like when I was going up on the lift. It's probably not recommended to sit on the lift and raise yourself up and down but it really does hold a lot. So this was the last main area that I was going to organize. They have these nice rack shelves that they've put in and they already had a lot of bins. The bins with the purple handles are from Target. So we are going to reorganize those. We're gonna get rid of some of the bins that don't match. Again, try and do a little bit of decluttering because decluttering always makes such a difference. But it also just helps for my parents to go through this and know what they own again. So hopefully they don't have to go out and buy something that they already own and they can work through the products that they have first. As we've done with the rest of the garage, one side is gonna be more of my dad's type of stuff and the other side is gonna be my mom's. My dad is car obsessed. I don't know if you've noticed throughout the garage, he has a lot of car items. One of his hobbies and passions is cleaning cars. So that's where a lot of these supplies come in. So I'm going through with him. He's standing right behind the camera and I'm asking him all of these things and what we can get rid of and what he truly needs. I can't stop time for you.
So pretty quick and easy, his side is done. I'm gonna put a couple of things over on the other side and then apply some more custom labels so he knows where to put everything back. I don't need this right now. Won't you get on my way, get on my way. I don't need this right now, right now, right now. Again, it really helps elevate a space and it helps you know where to find things and then of course where to put them away so you can keep the systems in place. Especially when somebody comes in to help you organize, those labels are particularly helpful. Or if you have multiple members of your family who aren't super familiar with where certain things go, the labels really help because there's no excuses. It's labeled, it's pretty clear where things belong. So with this next side, I decided to have one shelf dedicated to drinks. Those Fresca bottles did not want to stay up, but I thought I got them balanced. And then of course they tipped over as I added more water to the other side, but finally got it cleaned up and moving on to the rest of those bins on that side. And I'm adding custom labels there as well. I'm speeding all of this up pretty quickly again because like I said, this project was two full days. I was so exhausted at the end of it and I know my whole family was too because they were definitely helping out. But let's take one more look at that before and then you can see the after shot. I think it really made a difference and things are nice and neat and clean now. And this is the huge difference. Look at the before here with all of that stuff on the ground and then look at the after. There's nothing on the ground over there. It looks so much better. Thanks so much for joining me today. That's it for today's garage organization video. I'm so impressed with how much we were able to do. That area behind me, I feel like is a major accomplishment as well as those garage lifts. I wasn't the one who helped install them, but getting them up there with all of those storage bins helps free up so much space. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you guys later.